Isabel, just out of interest, how much experience have you had with Adobe Express? Um, little to none. Okay, that's what I wanted. And I was hoping to get a student that had very little experience because we're jumping into it now. Now, we did a quick rehearsal of, on this this morning, but only very briefly, so that she could learn that when I do my scrolling on my Mac, my scrolling down is literally scrolling down. And so she had to get her head around that. Are you okay with that too? There we go. So. We're in business. Now, we don't need this here. All right, are you ready? I think so. So what we're going to do, Isabel, first is we're going to jump and I'll get you to scroll down a little bit. We're going to go past the main tools, past our quick actions. I'll just stop for a minute, go back up a bit. I want to point out a couple of things here which we emphasised yesterday at our ACE day when we had some of the global American team come and talk. I'm going to get my little pointer, so hopefully you can see my little pointer around. Get started with K-12 templates for assignments for personal use. These are amazing. You can go into the different subject areas and get some support and ideas of how you can use Express in a creative way in your curriculum. Below that, guided activities for every subject. And these, we're creating these on a regular basis. We can actually go in and think, how could I use this tool? And they're guided. So there's a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the tool with that support. Keep scrolling down. Thanks, Isabel. There's some great templates here. We love templates. Keep scrolling until we get to our Gen AI tools. Okay, stop for a minute. We've got our text effects. We've got our generated images. Can you click into that prompting bar that I've got mm -hmm. hovering there? Click into it. Isabel, what's your favorite animal? I love cats. Good, a cat. Type in a cat. We're about to create a prompt. I'm gonna keep it fairly specific. A cat, what's the cat wearing? Type in a cat. We're doing a sentence. A cat. Mm -hmm. Do you normally, have you learned to do a sentence with a capital letter at the start? Is that? I'm very is sorry. That, it's okay. all about hearing okay, it out let me try again, let me try again. Just, just, I think for prompting purposes, it's not as essential, but that's, what's the cat wearing? Um, we'll say, we're coming up on Halloween. How about a witch's hat? Wow, cat, a cat wearing a witch's hat. What color is it? Purple. Purple, a purple witch's hat. Oops. Whereabouts is the cat located at the moment? Um, I think we'll go a magical forest. Wow. A cat wearing a purple witch's hat in a magical forest. All right, go ahead and click generate. It usually takes about 10 seconds if you've got reasonable Wi-Fi. Sometimes quicker, sometimes a little bit slower. Can you scroll this panel down just a little? There we go. We're going to start seeing four results. The first of the four results will appear on the main stage. The other three results will be there, and we're going to select which one of the four we like best as she's doing it. Oh, that's nice. It's our first one. Go to the second one, Isabella. Isabel. That's our second and our third one and our fourth one. Which one do you like best? I think I'm feeling this one. Terrific. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this image that you've created into an animation, into a video. And because I like videos in widescreen, not in Instagram, I'm just old-fashioned, Isabella. When I do my filming, I film landscape, not portrait. <laughs> it's just me. Maybe it's just me these days. Up the very top left-hand corner, see where our pointer is up there, Isabella, is a yes. resize button. Can you click on that? And I want you to choose the video resize option there. And now we click resize down the bottom. And it's using a bit of Gen AI now to then fill the screen with the picture that she's created. That's all happening. Last week, that feature wasn't there. You had to actually manually go and rescale it in if you've had a go with this before. Any second now, good. Now we're filling the screen. Now, I, and notice how it's fill, literally filled the screen with new content, a little bit like Gen AI in Photoshop. It's all sort of built into Adobe Express. This is going to be interesting because we've got a dark background with a relatively dark character, so I'm a little bit concerned about this, but we'll see how good the technology is. Can you click on the cat, click on the picture? Because what I want to do now is I want to, can you get rid of the resize panel? Just close the resize and click on the picture again. And there's a remove background button on the top left-hand corner. Click on that. This is one of our quick actions that allows you to remove any background. But I'm a little bit anxious. Oh, it's done a, look at that. I really didn't expect it to do that good a job. That just, I've just been blown away by my, our own technology. Wow. Which doesn't often happen. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Um, can you move the cat to the left? Art teachers in the room, art teachers. We're applying the rule of, thank you very much. Good, now let's, let's get a background here that is actually a video. So we're gonna to go to Adobe Stock. Adobe Stock's not just still images, it's videos and audio files, sound effects. It's like, it's amazing. To get there, Isabel, can you jump over to a tool over here, my favorite tool called Media. 
And when you click on media, you can see you've got access to all the photos, not all the photos, all the K12 friendly photos on Adobe Stock. You've also got all the K12 friendly videos on Adobe Stock and audio. So go to videos, and I want you to do a search in the video for, what was your background again? A mystical forest. To do a search, let's, <laughs> let's see what happens. I could be surprised again. Mystical forest, and we'll see if there's any video. Oh my goodness. 57 videos of mystical forests. As you hover over them, you get a sense of what they do. And just hover over anyone that actually has a bit of, bit of movement to it. You happy with that one? Yes. Click on it now. And now I want you to scale it. It's filling the whole screen. Beautiful. Now, unfortunately, the cat is hidden. So we're going to be teaching about layering where we're starting to introduce the concept of Photoshop and Illustrator and Premiere Pro. All layering is fundamental. On the top right-hand corner there, you can see the two layers that we're working with so far there, Isabel. Can you move the cat and drag it up above? There we go. And let go. Beautiful. Let's make the cat a little bit smaller. And because we've added a video content, we've now got a timeline. Click on the play button just there, Isabel. And we can start to see what this is, what, what's happening here. We've got our mystical forest. We've got the cat. All right, just pause it for a minute. Take the playhead back to the start. And I think before we do anything else, we need to add some spooky music or some music into it just to get the atmosphere. So where would we go, Isabel? Media. Excellent. And then where would we go? Audio. Good. And what are you going to search for? Oh, just searching for mystical forest. There's no musical called musical. Mm -hmm. So search for something else that's kind of connected to this theme. Magical music. Let's see what comes up. Try just magical and see if that works. By the way, I'm, we're working at the moment with someone. And just hit a, hit a preview, just hit the little play button on some of those, and we'll just choose one that we like. Oh, there, that's more of a sound effect, isn't it? They're, they look like they're all sound that's effects. Just try it again. Oh, that's not bad. That's quite nice. Do you want to, do you want to use that? Oh, which one do you like? Oh, I think I'm going to go with the first one. All right, so what I want you to do now is you've already clicked it. So she clicked it and it's now in the timeline. Isabel, can you hit the play button for us? Oh, wow. And just pause it for a minute. Where's our cat gone? What's happened to our cat? It's disappeared. Can you undo yeah. for us, Isabel? Somehow you've managed to get rid of it. There we go. Bring the music back in again. That's the great thing about undo, isn't it? Any mistakes you make? Excellent, we're good. So hit the play, uh, take the playhead back to the start. Okay, we're in the in process. Now pause it for a minute. I'd really like the cat not to be there at the start. I want to see the forest and then the cat to suddenly mysteriously appear. So what I want you to do is to that button right down the bottom called show layer timing. And I want you to click the cat. And I want you to trim the cat. I want you to trim it so that it's not appearing at the start. There we go. Take the playhead back to the beginning. Hit the play button and pause because it's around about now that I want the cat to appear. So trim it back to the playhead. Now choose this tool here, the animation tool. And as you hover over the different animation options, you get a sense of what will happen with the cat. And I want you to choose one that you think will work. And even if it's too fast, we can change the speed of it once you've chosen one that you kind of like. You like that one? Yes. All right, click on it a second time. And now we can change the duration. Let's make it a bit slower. So let's bring that dial across. That'll be fine. Let's change the personality to soft. And the intensity, let's bring that up as well. And let's go and hit, hit our play button. We'll take our playhead back to the start and hit the play button. Nice. All right, we're getting the idea and how that's working. We're not going to spend much more time on this, but a new feature has come in very recently where we can add multiple layers of audio. So we could do a voiceover at this point here and record a nice deep voiceover. We could bring in a soundtrack to go with our, let's just try that. If you go back to our media and go to our audio, and this time, can you stop the selection from magical? Can you close the magical search and just click away from that search bar? And as we scroll down, we've got acoustic music, we've got background music, we've got blues music, we've got brass, we've got classical, lots of dance and electronic film. Go to, just go to film, I think, and then click on the view all. And let's just preview any one of these songs just for the sake of time. 
Maybe not that one. That'll do. That's for the sake of time. Drag it into the timeline or hit the play or just hit it. Yeah, drag it in. That's fine. And now you can see it's up here. Let's bring it to the very start and let's take the playhead and maybe let's reduce the volume of our soundtrack. See the volume bar that's up there at the top and a very recent addition is to fade in, fade out or fade in and out. So click on the soundtrack again and can you fade it in or fade in and out? Beautiful. That'll do. That's great. Take the playhead back to the start. Hit the play button. And we're telling the story. Can we give Isabel a round of applause? How good is that? Amazing. You did such a good job. Well done. I shake your hand. And you've never used Express before. No. It just shows you how intuitive this tool can be. And I'll encourage you to keep using it. And the more you practice, the better you're going to get. Another round of applause for Isabel. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wonderful.